These monitors are gamer tested, but Vader approved. Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com and today I'm geeking out with you over my dual monitor setup. These are the MG 24U gaming monitors. Uh, these are 23.6 inches, so they're you know, roughly 24 inch displays. Uh, they are pretty baller. I have two of them uh, for my setup, and I use this for my video editing, my gaming when I actually make the time to do that, and also my graphic design work currently. So let's jump right into it. You guys know that I've been pushing to edit 4K video. It's part of why I built my new um, computer setup for the desktop here. In fact, you can watch a video where I break down all the components and why I bought them and how that helps with my video editing workflow. But with uh, something this robust and powerful, you really want to have monitors that can take advantage of it. And if I'm doing 4K video editing, I like actually being able to see 4K playback. So, two 4K monitors. I went with these Asus monitors for a lot of reason. Uh, I have more than just the computer hooked up to them, and I probably will have more devices hooked up to them in the future. And that's one of the features that I love about this is the fact that it has three HDMI ports in the back of the display as well as a display port and the display port can do 4k video as can the HDMI's so that gives me a lot of options here that means that in addition to running the dual displays and being able to hook up my Apple TV to it as well as uh, plug that into my Asus ROG uh, 1070 uh, Strix graphics card that I also would be able to plug in things like if I decide to get the new Xbox or if I decide to get the new PS4 Pro, if I decide to like, you know, put those on like a little shelf next to the desk here, then I can actually hook up all of those systems to these peripherals and uh, that would actually be really cool and it saves me a ton of space. These are flicker-free IPS monitors. They have a lot of cool features. They actually can rotate and I can adjust their height, their viewing angle, uh, it has been fantastic for that. In terms of color accuracy, they are phenomenal. Uh, they definitely rate very well for the Adobe um, RGB and sRGB profiles. And that's really something that's important to me for accuracy with doing graphic design, with doing print work and with doing video editing. So if you're looking for color accurate monitors, these and the Dell Ultra Sharps are really good. And so are the BenQ monitors. Ultimately, the form factor of these are part of why it shows them over the Dell Ultra Sharps. Although I think those are great monitors. Those have the added benefit of um, being able to plug in USB devices, which these do not. However, I feel that for the price range I was looking at, these were about 370 when I bought them on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Uh, I think that these were fantastic monitors. Again, with 4K displays, you're not getting them cheap, but I feel overall they are worth it. The fact that I went with an Asus graphics card is also uh, probably what influenced my decision. I do like Asus as a brand, you guys know that. It is what I did for my budget video editing laptop, which I've done videos about and reviewed here. And ultimately when I decided to get an Asus graphics card, I knew that I was probably gonna end up getting Asus monitors as well. If you're looking for a monitor on a budget, the uh, HD 1080p monitor that I was using up until I replaced it with these two is still a great option overall. I have a link for that in the description as well and some other monitor solutions for you. This monitor has some cool features for gaming. Without any additional software, you can actually see the temperature and the frames per second if you want that. It also has some other gaming modes that you can check out. Um, all those details are over on the Amazon page. Uh, I don't use those a lot because again, I don't do a lot of heavy gaming. I do it more casually, but I also like that it does let me toggle through the multiple inputs that this uh, has. So I can go ahead and I can toggle between what's going on, on my computer, or I can switch over to my Apple TV or any other devices that I have plugged in. So that's actually really convenient. Um, I've actually used this for a few tricks with tethered shooting so that I can do um, some headshots for myself against uh, my white backdrop here in the office. I've actually used the monitors tethered to my camera before for that. So that's actually pretty cool. And it's super convenient for me. One of the other cool things about these uh, monitors is that they have ultra low blue light. So that means that you have less eye stress and less eye fatigue. This is especially important for someone like me who's doing detailed work for long periods of time and doing a lot of video editing. 
uh, that's important and it's probably one of the better experiences in terms of my eyes and not always even having to rely on my glasses in terms of sitting in front of a monitor for long hours. And so that's something you want to keep in mind here. It's another reason that I actually chose this particular set of monitors. These are also super energy efficient. Uh, my bill has not gone up since I bought these. So uh, that's definitely something that I think we should all be uh, keeping in mind. We all definitely want to do our uh, part to be, you know, energy conscious, but also keeping the bills low matters. These monitors are a little heavy in terms of weight, but I'm okay with that. This IKEA desk holds up just fine. Uh, so that's not a problem for me, and it means that uh, they're not going anywhere. I don't have to worry about them easily tilting over. They have really great stands, and again, I like that the height can adjust, the angle, the tilt, everything about them is just really intuitive. They were well designed and they were well built. Uh, I wouldn't want to drop one of these on my foot, and I definitely wouldn't want to get smacked in the face with one, so the build quality is solid. I know some of you want like super geeky specs, you want like, you know, refresh rates and you want all that stuff. Like these are great monitors overall. Uh, you know, they're 60 Hertz monitors and I've been able to get fantastic, you know, gameplay out of this for Overwatch and Star Wars Old Republic. I've been able to, uh, you know, get great playback on these and not a lot of delay at 60 frames per second. I definitely think that they work perfectly with any of the new Asus graphics cards if you want to check that out. Uh, I keep things here over on the more simple side of tech. So if you want all the specs, you can check out the description below or check it out over on Amazon. I try to keep my reviews more in line with what the average person would need to know before they decide that they're going to buy something. Anyway, I think that these monitors are phenomenal. I might do a video about setting up uh, dual displays because I think that could be cool. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comment section. Also, what other gear are you guys interested in having me review? Uh, there's actually a lot of stuff here and a lot of stuff in my YouTube setup, and I haven't actually reviewed all of it on the channel. So maybe you want to check that out and let me know what you'd like me to review here. Do you guys want me to review more um, computer accessories and gadgets? Do you guys want me to review more hard drives? Do you guys want more laptop reviews? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, with all the Apple stuff that just came out, I'm actually really interested in Beats headphones now, and that might be a thing. Let me know if you want that. Anyway, links to everything are in the description below. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome stuff on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and geeking out with me over the Asus MG24U gaming monitors. Remember, they are gamer tested, but Vader approved.